hello everyone in this video i am going to give a solution for a comment that i received recently so this is excuse me do you know how to center align a picture in a picture for example i have your 100 cross 100 white color pixel picture and i want to align 50 cross 50 pixels black color picture in the center so basically at the center of the white big picture i want to align a small black color picture uh, exactly at the center of that big picture so that's the thing so here i am opening a 3 is to 4 2k canvas and i will show you the trick why i'm calling this is uh, as a trick is because there is no any alignment tool exactly available in um ibs plain text so we cannot simply just click on left align right align center align like that we cannot do that so if you want to align something uh, i will show you the trick uh, for this as the subscriber uh, told two images i'm considering these as the two uh, picture uh, with one big size and another one small size so i'm going to align the big one and small one exactly at the center of each one also at the center of the canvas first i tried a grid tool but it is difficult to find the center of the ca canvas in the grid tool though you can uh, perfectly align two images exactly center to each other using the grid tool because there is so many boxes but it is difficult to find the center of the canvas so as moving the um, center point of the grid uh, the measurement values also going to change and it's difficult to find center so for that i found the solution go to filter frames click on this table count and adjust the columns and rows value uh, the uh, good thing about this table is uh, whatever the canvas size may be the boxes get divided exactly uh, equal based on the size of the canvas and you don't need to worry about the center because when everything is exactly measured you can simply find the center of the canvas i will show you how so here you can see everything is equally uh, measured uh, you know rows and columns now i will show you how to align and you need a separate layer for this create a separate layer and then create this table otherwise you're gonna end up adding the table over the top of uh, the picture so avoid that now go to the first layer where here the big picture and you can easily see how i'm aligning uh, you can see uh, there is one box left eventually at the left and right and small space uh, we can measure almost with our eyes and at the top and bottom it is like there is not one box it's uh, like something less than one box uh, distance from the corner of each at the top and bottom so in the same way I'm going to measure based on my <laughs> uh, prediction eye prediction so i'm going to keep and the thing is since it is exactly split uh, the box you can see the rotation option here there is a line comes that line aligns exactly center with the red color tablet uh, table line now you can see it looks exactly at the center so that we can find the center of the canvas also you can adjust the vertical alignment little bit based on the way it looks how many space we have at the top and bottom and now if you see it is exactly at the center of the canvas as well as each one is at the center alignment so this is how you can align easily uh, using the tablet uh, table option and you can see it looks exactly at the center now i will show you another way like if you are having a rectangle and the square and you are using a multiple uh, or you can with the ta a table with uh, so many columns and rows how to deal with that so i will show you that if i created two um, rect one rectangle and one square 
now i'm going to use so many boxes instead of using small uh, instead of using small number of boxes so here you can see i have so many number of you know six columns and seven rows so how you can find the center still so now you can see at the center there is a red line along this center line you can see everything along the center along like that and measure the space at the top and bottom um, how many space or how many box you have at the top and bottom measure that now here again we're going to check how many boxes left at the left side and right side at the top and bottom and now you can see it looks exactly at the center hope you like the tricks if so subscribe to my channel thank you